Hey guys, my name is Mike, and uh, this is a continuation of the uh, videos I've been making about this G63 I'm working on. This is a 2013 model. Uh, it's got the 5.5 liter twin turbo V8. This is the same motor that you find in all the 63 models from about 2011 or 2012 up until I believe 2017 or so. Um, so this one has the, uh, the turbo boost pressure, too high uh, check engine light. Um, and I did some searching online and came up with the fact that it's uh, probably this sensor. So it's called a pressure transducer and uh, this is a new one I got from Mercedes. It's about a hundred bucks or so and it kind of just looks like that. So you've got a sensor here and a couple of vacuum line connections. So I haven't seen anybody uh, really explain how to replace these. So, and I haven't done this myself before, so we'll go ahead and uh, figure this out together. All right, so we've obviously got a check engine light on. It's been on the whole time. I've tried clearing it and it just keeps coming back. Now, I went ahead and scanned it again. It's the same code again. Uh, it just says uh, the boost pressure of turbo number one is too high. So, We'll, uh, let's go ahead and clear it again and then we'll uh, replace the sensor let's read it now it doesn't show any faults because the engine is not running but now that the codes cleared we'll shut it off and we'll go ahead and Start working on replacing the sensor. So we'll go ahead and uh, get this engine cover off. I believe the sensor is just under it there. Put the cover off. And that's our sensor right there. It looks like there's a couple torque screws holding it in and just a couple of vacuum lines connected to it now I want to be careful getting these off I'll probably get a pick because I don't want to damage them and then we just have the one electrical connector there on the back um, so we'll get a torque screwdriver get these lines off and get that sensor out so let's go ahead and get these vacuum lines off I've got a couple picks here and we'll just pry them off a little bit. There's one. And there's the other. So these are plastic. They might be a little brittle, but hopefully they're still okay and not leaking anywhere. And then we'll get our torque screwdriver and let's get these bolts out. Try that uh, safety clip off. And then just press it. Yeah, and then you pry it off, press it down. Oh, I see some oil on there. I don't know if that's because oil got into the sensor um, from the vacuum lines. Maybe that's why the sensor failed. But we'll go ahead and uh, clean it up a little bit and get the new one in. So, I went ahead and uh, cleaned the connector up, cleaned the oil off, just clean, clean around. 
why not while well, the area is accessible. And now that we've got the new one here, let's get it plugged in. So we just uh, plug the connector in, push the safety pin back in, and then we get our bolt back in. Some of this stuff's not the easiest to do one-handed. So we've got our bolts in and we just reconnect the vacuum lines. Just push them all the way on. And that should be that. Let's get rid of the old one and then we'll put the cover back on. And then we'll take it for a drive and make sure the code doesn't come back. So let's get it fired up. And hopefully we fix the issue. Alright, so what do we have? Check engine light's still on, so let's scan it again. And let's see. It may be to do with the transmission, not the engine this time. So let's go into the transmission control module. Yeah, we've got those stored codes for the transmission, which is a separate issue that uh, we'll have to deal with. But let's just clear it for now, just to make sure we've got the check engine light to go off. So maybe we'll take it uh, for a quick drive and make sure it doesn't come back. So, so far so good, no check engine lights, seems to run like it should. I know some people report that when they get that code, the boost pressure too high code, the, uh, it's, the car goes into lip mode, but I never noticed that with this one. The power level didn't seem to change. Um, so. Hopefully that uh, fixed our boost pressure too high issue. Now the other issue we have is something to do with the uh, shift selector or some sort of a module with the transmission, um, which I need to do a bit more research on. Um, it seems that every time I clear the code, um, sometimes the same one will come back, sometimes it's a different code. So it's hard to say exactly what the issue is and there's not really too much information out on the internet about the 
uh, the, those particular codes. So I'll have to keep scanning the codes and uh, keep looking into it. Maybe I'll I'll have to go talk to a tech at Mercedes and uh, maybe they'll help me out. I'm sure they've seen these codes before. But actually now that I drive it, maybe it wasn't in, in, in lip mode before because it seems to drive a lot better now. The engine's way more responsive. from. Mm -hmm. 